Hey guys, I'm in a rush and I have to go to work right now. So, here's a very quick makeup tutorial. Um, yeah, and if I talk really fast, that's kind of normal because I'm like I said I'm in a rush. So, let's get this makeup tutorial started and go. So, I've already applied my foundation and I already filled in my eyebrows, so I'm going to go in with a kabuki brush and put on some powder. And I am color NC35. So I'm going to get my forehead really fast. Oh, and if I look over here, it's because my mirror is over here. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to put soft ochre on my lids. I'm going to use my uh, middle finger to blend it out just on the sides here and the other side. I'll be right back. Alright, so I am back and I'm taking my braces off since they are just kind of in the way. Um, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Eye Studio in Irresistible Ivy for this look. So get a big eyeshadow brush. I'm going to be using Max 252 and just put it um, as your highlight. So all at the top here and do the other side. This thing is so hard to open. Now you're going to take this gold color and put it on your eyes, kind of like like right in the middle, but not in the middle. So it's like off-centered, so I'll show you what I mean. So you want to put it like right here. Do you see what I mean? And then just kind of pat, because these shadows are just kind of, they're not super easy to blend, but um, they're pretty good for a drugstore. So do the same for the other side. Okay, now that, I know this looks kind of weird, but now that it's on, oh, this side's darker, or this side's lighter, I mean. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And then you're going to want to do, like, the inner corner of your eye with the same gold, goldish color. Now you're going to flip over this brush. So this side has this side has the gold and this side doesn't. And you're going to take this turquoise and tap off any excess cuz you don't want any fallout and put it on the outside where you did not put that gold color. And get your 252 from before. I know it's kind of big for this area, but I can't find my other brush. So put it in between the gold where you put it on your eye so it makes it look like it like adds dimension. Now this is the time to get your fluffy brush. Mine is from Sephora so you could use whatever you really want. If you find that these colors are um, not pigmented enough for you you can always um, use MAC colors since these are really similar to MAC colors. Like um, the gold, for example, you could be using um, MAC pigment in tan. And then the, what color is this? I don't know. But this like tealish color looks pretty similar to teal pigment from MAC as well. What's really nice about these colors is that um, it's like perfect for summer since I know, I mean it's summer now. So I've been wearing this look for a super long time. So if you are planning to just wear this for a daytime and you don't really like to wear a lot of makeup, then you can actually just stop here. But I personally like to wear eyeliner and all that good stuff. So. We are going to darken up this look just a tiny bit. Um, so I'm going to be taking... Hmm, what am I going to be taking? I'm going to be taking Carbon with my... What is this? 219 brush. And this brush is awesome. I didn't know what I was missing out on until recently. So I'm going to be applying this um, on my... Underneath? I don't know. Okay, so I've applied it on my eyes. 
Oh, and I totally forgot to put on lip conditioner. I'm going to be using Benefit Bad Gal Brown Mascara. And you can do like one or two coats. It's whatever. But normally I only put mascara on my top lashes. Now I'm going to be putting it on my bottom lashes as well for this look. Just because I like how it looks for summertime. And this is going to be difficult since I don't have a mirror up close. So I'm going to put this on really fast and I'll be right back. Now my mascara is done and it's um, not too happy with how it's clumping. But it's fine. I'm kind of in a rush so it's whatever. Um, so instead of doing a highlight, I'm going to be using Improvise since it does have some shimmer in it. And so yeah, I'm going to be using like one of those stippling brushes, but I'm not going to be doing it in a stippling motion. But whatever, so here we go. And it's on the face. And bring it up all the way to my hairline. And I know this is probably going to sound a little crazy, but I am going to be using Hip and Adventurous. And I'm going to be using this like hot pink. And I'm just going to be putting on the apples of my cheek. Dot, 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 dot. And dot, 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 dot. I am going to be using Hula and I'm going to be using a 168 brush. So I'm going to make a quick swoop. And the same on the other side. Swoop, and I'm done. Um, as for my lip color, I'm going to be using Revlon. Actually, I have to do lip liner first, right? So, like I said, I had the lip conditioner on before because my lips get kind of chapped in the summertime. I'm not exactly sure why. So, actually, I probably need more water. So, lip liner. You can pretty much use whatever color that you really want to except for like black obviously but I'm going to be using Toast and Maybelline's Moisture Extreme so I'm going to put that on and I'll be right back. Alright I'm back. So lip liner is done and you can't even tell that I'm wearing it because it's like the same exact color as my lips. So like I said I'm going to be using Revlon's lipstick in peach and it's a really pretty color. Ta-da! I don't know can you see that? Looks exactly like the cap. Looks exactly the same. All right, so I'm going to be applying this now because I gotta get out the door. Okay, and this is basically your finished makeup look, and I'm done, and I have to go now because yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will just see you guys later.